What's up, man? As you know who it is, it's your boy Alistair Psycho here, and well, Amazoni is here. She's right next to me. She's actually trying to hide because she doesn't want to be on camera since we just got done doing two Try Not to Laughs, which both of us won. Even though after I got done recording the video on the second Try Not to Laugh, she started laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like this. Right now, I'm gonna record two five useless body parts by all five. Really curious. Don't really know what it's about, but let's get this started. Do you want to see or no? I can see right here. She doesn't want to see. Okay. None of us ever want to lose the body part as most of our body is extremely useful and necessary to stay alive. However, with that being said, some parts of us are really not that useful at all. And should they be removed, you realistically wouldn't notice much difference. In this list, we'll be showing you five useless body parts. Speaking of this I list, like wait, 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 pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Before I get started, I gotta say that I'm pretty sure that Half of the potty parts that are about to be freaking talked about, I possibly, like, just seeing, I probably still want. And with that being said, let's get back this to the one one and Hock one Hot Dog for suggesting this video. <laughs> Number five, nipples. Okay, nipples are not useless for women, but for men, they pretty much are. True. Why do men have nipples? Well, you see, all fetuses start off as female, then their sex gets determined later on. This means males develop nipples before they even become males. While they have no purpose for men, they are pretty important for appearance, since it would look odd if a man didn't have nipples. It's also it's important cool, to though. point out, but Girls it's actually possible for a man to lactate, <laughs> although it is extremely rare. So maybe male nipples aren't actually that useless after all. I mean, I don't prefer Number four. Wait, pause, 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 pause. Like, I really don't see why dudes even have them. I mean, girls, they have them because, like, the milk and stuff, but with guys, they, they are no purpose to be served unless the guy gets them pierced. But then again, like, I, no, I'm not going to do that. Screw that. Scientists figure that at some point wisdom teeth probably served a purpose. However, today they do nothing more than bring pain since the human jaw has become smaller over time and the wisdom teeth just have nowhere to grow. It's said that modernish dental hygiene is why we don't need wisdom teeth. Before brushing, flossing, mouthwash and all the dental hygiene of today, young adults would have lost many of their teeth. So growing two extra sets of molars when you become a young adult would have been really handy. However, today it really serves no purpose. Number three, the tailbone. Your grandparents didn't have a tail, but if you go back far enough in the family tree, your ancestors at some point did. Other mammals I find their tails tail. useful That'd for balance, cool. but when humans learn to walk, the tail became useless, and over time it was converted into just some fused vertebrae. However, tail, like although monkey, our ancestors haven't had sick. tails for like millions of years now, once in a while a child is born with a defect that gives them a tail. Number cool. two, Darwin's cool. point. Ten percent of people have this small fold of skin that forms on the upper part of the ear. It is pretty useless as it does nothing. Its origins are unclear, but researchers suspect it could have been a joint that allowed the ear to swivel or even flop down. Number one, body hair. Body hair was useful a long, long time ago. It was our natural coat. Without body hair, we would have that been very cold like for most of the time. However, today, if you walked outside naked, you would probably get arrested for indecent exposure. Yeah. Clothes have completely replaced the need for body hair. However, some hair is still useful. Your eyebrows keep sweat out of your eyes, for example. Nose hair and eyelashes all work as a filter. The hair on your head is great for keeping your head warm, and researchers say beards could play a role in sexual attraction. Many people today shave their legs, chest, and so forth, and don't experience any negative side effects. In fact, some people don't even grow much body hair at all, and if they do, it's usually very fine and thin, which is pretty much useless if you're naked out in the cold. 
thank you for watching and if you have a video idea why not leave a comment below and if we make it we'll give you a big shout out don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome daily lists of all things five this is all five and until next time feed your mind okay um uh i don't really get what i get that but i don't really get why some of those things are still here like body hair I understand like the hair on the head, the eyebrows and the eyelashes, like I said, but everything else that's just freaking stupid. Like why would you need nose hair? Like armpit hair, chest hair, back hair, leg hair, that's stupid. Uh but as far as the tail goes, I actually still wish I had one. Because I mean I feel like a Super Saiyan from freaking Dragon Ball Z, like Goku a descendant freaking Saiyan or something. Like superpowers and like i become like an aryan german or something <laughs> this dude blonde hair blue eyes super strength it's like that'd be pretty freaking amazing golden tail that that'd be pretty sick if you like the video like subscribe and with that being said i'm gonna have the original link in the description box as well as some information to reach me so i can react to some videos of your choosing Jesus.